Seriously, Bungie? Really? There's like three days out of the year I asked you not to, to put information out on the internet, and you just had to go and do it. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And yes, that is why I did not have this up two hours ago. I was taking one of my midterms. Bungie just has the most fantastic timing on Earth. But all that aside, today we're going to be looking at all of the information they dropped about the road ahead. And I believe it's called the Days of Triumph, the Age of Triumph event. So we're just going to go through this. Uh, first, I want to take a look at this thing, though. This is really, really cool. So over here, you have the shield for all the classes, Hunter, Warlock, Titan. And this one, I think, is supposed to represent all the different raids. So you have Vault of Glass, Taking King, Crota's End, and then Wrath of the Machine as well. Uh, that one's a little bit... Doesn't connect as much to its raid, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. And then you have um, just different random ships here. And then, of course, the uh, the Destiny symbol and the Traveler and whatnot. I thought that was a really, really cool logo. I'll probably be using that in a couple thumbnails. But anyways, so we're going to be going through this. There's a couple pieces of really key information I want to share with you guys, if you don't know yet. So the first stuff really has to do with Destiny 2. So, um, I'll, I'll just go ahead and read this, the, the direct quote. It says, Destiny 1 power, possessions, and Eververse-related items and currency will not be carried forward. They will, however, remain accessible to you in Destiny 1. We know that, just like us, you have grown fond of the guardians you've created, so we do plan on preserving your character personalization. We're going to recognize the dedication and passion you've shown for this world. Specifically, the class, race, gender, face, hair, and marking selections for all characters that have achieved level 20 and completed the Black Garden Story mission will carry forward. We also plan to award those veteran accounts with honors that reflect your Destiny 1 accomplishments. So this is something we've been asking about for a long time. Will Destiny 1 pretty much end and everything, everything in your possession, you know, your Galahorn, your Thorn, everything, will that transfer to Destiny 2? And we finally got the answer that no, they will not. So this is pretty interesting. I don't want to get too deep into it. I do want to make a specific video on this next week, as well as tonight when we record the last word, we will be going way in depth with this. So make sure you catch the live recording of that. I do believe I'll be doing a sub uh, Iron Banner thing while we record that just to get more people in the stream. So make sure you come out and join that. But basically, I do think that this is the best way to go. Now, do I want to see all my stuff made irrelevant? Absolutely not. You know, I've put hours and hours and just like a thousand hours or more into destiny and i obviously you know i really love the stuff i've earned and completed and gained and bought and stuff but you know it just makes sense if they're appealing to a larger audience you know starting over probably is the best way to do it i am happy that our guardians will transfer over because at least my ugly characters i created will be able to you know take the journey with me which is pretty cool um like i said we'll get more into this tonight but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. And if I like your comments enough, well, actually, uh, I'll read some of those live on The Last Word tonight. So that's pretty cool. But now for the event that everyone's been talking about, the Age of Triumph. So this is going to come out on the end of March. Now, we don't know too much about it. We are going to have three reveal live streams. The first one next week on Wednesday being the Age of Triumph reveal. This is just what it is going to be about. Then on March 15th, which is also Wednesday, we get the Age of Triumph weekly rituals. This just implies we'll be getting new stuff, I guess. And then Age of Triumph sandbox update. This will be like all of the uh, balances, the sidearms, and OM Beyond and stuff. And that live stream is going to be on March 22nd, which once again is a Wednesday. So what do I think is going to come with the Age of Triumph? I think these pictures right here are extremely telling. So this one shows the entrance to the Vault of Glass. So... The Vault of Glass is coming back. Pretty much, this is like 99% confirming it. Uh, we'll get the official reveal next week. I'll have it as soon as it comes out. Hopefully, I work on Wednesday, so uh, we'll see how well their timing is next week. Then for the uh, the weekly ritual stuff, if you look right here, the the logo for the Prison of Elders is actually right there. So that makes me think that Skull Loss is actually coming back as well, which is something we'll get to check out. And then this guy's very interesting. Someone pointed out to me on Twitter that this has to mean something because this is I don't recognize any of this armor. You know, this leg kind of looks like the Vogue armor, but look, he's got a freaking robot leg. And then he's also got like spiky stuff right here. A new helmet so i'm thinking that there might be a new armor set so this is obviously set in some type of vex thing you know you can see the carvings on the wall this looks like the entrance to the vault of glass so 
it looks like there's going to be new vault of glass armor and this stuff looks really cool you know the cape also has the kind of um the vault of glass like triangle floaty things i don't really know what to call them the whenever you're building like the gates and stuff those little particles are coming out of it so that's really cool i definitely think this is related to the vault of glass i'm really excited to see what all we'll be getting but that is pretty much it. So the Age of Triumph, very, very cool logo, very cool stuff. Your stuff will not transfer over to Destiny 2. All of this stuff, guys, let me know what you think is down in the comment section below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and share it with your friends. You can click the annotation on screen to see that video if you have not done so yet. Finally, subscribe for more awesome Destiny content, and I'll see you guys in my next video.